Hi, this is Sunil from Learning Lad Education and welcome to the What's the Output video series on C programming language. Here we're gonna give you a C program and we're gonna ask you guys to guess the output of the program and then we're gonna run this program and explain the output. So all you need to do is pause this movie and take a look at the source code which is here in the editor and then come up with the output of this program. Once you have an answer, just click on the play button. I'm gonna run this program and explain the output. Alright, now I believe that you guys have an answer for this program. I'm gonna build and run this. And here we are gonna get the output as 1, none and 2. So now why the heck we are gonna get 1, none and 2 as the output. Here we have this variable i and uh, it is of integer type and we have stored the value of 1 in it. And then we have this switch statement and here we have this i variable as the expression. This switch expression will be evaluated and the result of that expression will be compared with the case values. If the case value matches then the statements inside that case will be executed. If none of the case values match with the expression's result then the default block will be executed. So here what happens is i variable is containing a value of 1 and that will match with the case 1 and that's why this case 1 statement will start executing. So it's gonna execute this printf statement and it's gonna print out 1 and then we don't have the break statement to terminate this switch and that's why the other statements which are inside this switch will be executed and that's why it's gonna execute the statements that we have written inside this default block. So it's gonna execute this printf and it's gonna display none and then again we don't have any break or anything to terminate this switch and that's why the other statements will be executed. So it's gonna execute this printf statement which is in the case 2 and it's gonna print out 2 and after executing this statement there are no other statements to execute and eventually the switch will terminate and the control will come out of this switch. So here you need to use the break statement to terminate the switch after executing all the case statements. So here I'm gonna use the break statement after executing all the statements of this case 1. So it's gonna be break and similarly we're gonna have this um, break for the default block and here for this case 2 there is no need to use the break statement because you know after executing all these statements you know the control will eventually come out of this switch statement so if you want you guys can use the break statement here with the last case if you don't want to use it you guys can skip it so here i'm gonna save this program and i'm gonna build and run it and this time you guys can see here we're gonna get the result as one so this is it guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel check out my website learninglad.com for more video tutorials and i'll see you in the next tutorial